It's time to take a sneak peek at the new issue of Barron's Magazine. Joining me now is Barron's Senior Editor, Jack Howe. How are Jack, you? thanks for being here. I'm great. Happy Friday. Same to you. All right, so your lead story you guys have today, the M&A market is heating up. What can we expect to there? Love is in the air. There's a 56% increase year to date in the dollar value of announced mergers and acquisitions. Uh, particular growth among jumbo deals, deals worth you know, a billion dollars and up. Now, not all of these deals are going to work out. Some of them might be rejected, but even so, it looks like we've seen a real rebound here. And it doesn't quite look, you've got to worry, you know, does this signal a market peak coming? It doesn't quite look like that yet. Uh, deal premiums look pretty reasonable relative to history. So we think this could be another leg up for an aging bull market, but we'll have to watch carefully to make sure the deals don't get too silly, which could signal a market top. Meanwhile, we've got our top 10 picks for takeover targets for readers in this issue. All right, you're going to have to pick up the magazine to see that. Let's move on to your next story today. <clears throat> Junk bonds overvalued. Everyone keeps saying it. Why do we keep buying them? We're running out of ways to tell people that they're too expensive. I mean, you, you get, uh, you know, 5%, just over 5% on an index of junk bonds. It's close to a historic low. The, the spread to treasuries is close to a historic uh, narrowness. Um, one person described it uh, as a, a party that's already six hours old when someone shows up with a hard liquor. Uh, now, we, neither of us go to those sorts of parties, but it sounds <laughs> excessive. Not. And uh, people we talk to say, look, everyone agrees this is going to end badly at some point. They just don't agree on when. All right, and the last story you have for us is clearly the tragedy of the summer. Mm -hmm. There are not enough places to park our yachts. I, would, I didn't really know how to break this to you. Yeah, but, uh, you know, for, for example, at San Francisco's South Beach Harbor, there's a 10 to 12 year waiting list if you want to find a 50-foot slip for your gigantic yacht. Uh, we're seeing similar shortages around the country. So um, if you've got any pull with like lawmakers or anyone out there, please, we need assistance finding more space to it's, park these gigantic boats. It's a travesty. We will get to work on this immediately. Jack, thanks very much Thank for being you. here.